How are you doing? Happy Monday and welcome to live stream number 67. Today is today's October, October 2nd, 2017. Wow, it's October already. I hope you had a awesome weekend. I for sure did. Uh, and uh, ready to, uh, you know, get going with a, uh, a new week here. See, we already got people coming in. Absolutely awesome. 15 seconds in. We gotta have a good uh, internet connection today. All right, so today's topic, split face and split body. Has nothing to do with any mafia or Weight Watchers or anything like that. Um, we're gonna talk a little bit about um, a couple of commands that you probably should know are, are available. Um, and uh, this here, today's topic, kinda like was inspired a little bit by my good friend, uh, Jimmy DeResta. Um, I left down in the description area, you will find a link to uh, his this video that I'm going to reference just in a second. By the way, you will also down there find my email address if you have any uh, future topics you would like to see on uh, the live stream. Thank you so much for all you guys who uh, are watching the live stream and also, of course, you guys who are watching the recording later on YouTube. So, let me just show you here what I'm kind of talking about. So, Jimmy... Um, if you don't know Jimmy DeResta, you should check out his uh, YouTube channel. He got over a million subscribers. Um, cool guy. Uh, I've seen him do this uh, quite a bit where he takes different pieces of different types of wood and he kind of like glue them together um, and then he makes them kind of like into a box. So if I kind of like, I don't know how good this is coming through, but you see kind of like puts all the pieces next to each other, then they all get glued uh together and then he normally do uh some very cool stuff well jimmy is awesome um let's go in and uh <laughs> go into uh to to a uh, fusion and um and just kind of like take a little bit of a look at you know when we're thinking about like how um he's gluing all these different pieces of wood together how could we do that inside of a of, of fusion so of course, um, right out of the gate, we might just open a new sketch, hit S key to get our little toolbox here. And uh, we could just go in here and do a one by one um, square. We could hit Q for extrude, and I don't know, eight inches long, something something like that. And we kind of like have, his was longer, but uh, we kind of have a, you know a block here. And this of course, Right now, it's just a, a, a one component with uh, with one body. Now, we could now make a decision if we're going to make multiple components or we're going to make um, we're going to make individual parts. Like if we want to just keep it as bodies, we could just right click, say move copy, select uh, this one body we have here, right? And if we click uh, create copy. Uh, then we could kind of drag another one out and if we made it minus one inch uh, now we kind of like have two bodies uh, so we kind of like have assembled two of each of these um, kind of blocks that that he has here um, and where this kind of like maybe kind of like can go down the road is when we start talking about like appearances and things like that. So what we could do now was we could right click and say appearances. That's how I normally get to it. And if we go down here, we could click on, on, on different types of wood. There's different types of finished. And by the way, you can always click on these little arrows here and you can download all the different types. Um, so I might take one here and I'm just going to take an oak and I can drop that on one body. And then we kind of like have that and I could grab a cherry and I could drop that on kind of like another uh, body here. And then we could continue if we wanted to, right? We could uh, go in here and we could grab another copy of this first one maybe. Um, and we could now go over here, minus two, and then we could kind of continue like this. We could of course also start thinking about like patterning and things like that. But, um, you know, we might think about all the way. Let's just a little plus sign up here to get a new design up here. Because eventually, what I really want is kind of like, 
I really want all of them kind of like together as a big as a big pile, right? He glues them all together here. Uh, so why not going the other direction and say, what if we made kind of like a plank that was maybe eight by eight and then extruded that up one inch. Now we kind of like have the finished our result here. Um, and then we could now apply appearances to that. The problem though is that if I just go in here right now and I create and I drag like the oak back on here, we get it on the entire part and that's not really, really what we want. Um, so what we could do was we could split this. Um, now we have kind of like two options in here. Uh, we can split it as a body or we can split it as a face. Now split face means that we are still keeping just one body over here, but we are splitting the top surface here. Um, think of like laminate on a countertop or something like that, that we're just taking like that top layer and we can just split that. Now I'm not saying, by the way, in this video here, you're not gonna get it right or wrong. I'm just trying to, to kind of like, um, you know, as I'm sitting on a Sunday night watching Jimmy Joe Esther, what am I thinking about? Uh, so what we could do was we could go in here and create a sketch right here, and we could create a line maybe. Um, one way we could do this, just create a line. I probably did a little crooked. Okay, we can put a dimension in here, make that one inch. Um, and then I could go in and use that to um, actually split that face. So if I do that, it's going to come up here and say split, uh, face to split, what will be this face. And uh, then the splitting tool is going to be that line, so like that. And you will see, because I we actually got different options in here, uh, split with a surface, that's what we're doing right now along a vector uh, a closest point. That's something to look at later. Um, but, and we can kind of like extend it out here. So now I just, I didn't, we still only have one body. I only split this one face here, right? Uh, but now I could actually give that a completely different appearance. So if we're going to appearances, now be aware of that up here, you can choose between component body. That's what we've used so far. But we could also go over here and say face. And I could now, drop that cherry um, on a face. And I kind of like broken broken that uh, down like that. Um, we could, of course, go back here to the sketch and edit that, edit that sketch. And we could, of course, go in and do something like a rectangular pattern. We wanna do that line. And we want to go in spacing. We want one inch. And how many do we want? So come across that whole face. Seven. So now we got like got seven lines. We pattern that, right? And let me make the sketch visible. And uh, now we could go in and split all the different, uh, all the different faces kind of in here, right? Uh, so now we kind of like, now it's still going here right now. It's, I think it's probably still looking at that one. I think it shouldn't have split the faces up. Did it do that? Maybe we've done that. Oh, I keep on doing that. Yeah. I don't think you'd want to look at that until we have split the faces. All right. So let's do that. Um, split face, select this face here, and the line's gonna be this line right here. So now we could go in here and split each of the faces, repeat split, um, like that. Now I wish I hadn't made seven of them. <laughs> So, let 
like that. So now we kind of like split each of these down. Oh, I still have one and then there. Uh, so now if we go into appearances, faces. Oh, this is interesting. What did I do? There we go. I just sketch was confused it. So we could split up these faces and uh, and kind of like break it down like that. And then of course, if I did the same uh, on top, now I wonder, I actually didn't test this out. If we go into the second last one we did, edit, faces to split, we could actually have selected that top face. That would probably have been smarter, huh? Um, if I selected both faces as I was doing this, so, and then I lost that one. Okay, well, um, let's see. That face and that face. So it's like that. So we could have done something like that. We could have split them all, split them all down uh, the line like that. Right? So that was one way we could keep... Um, one block, one body, but splitting uh, the face down and that way kind of like have the finished results, but get the appearance um, of of the different of the uh, different parts. Now the other option, so that's split face. We really haven't modified anything other than the, the top face here. Now, of course, we could also do split body. But kind of works the same way. And this is actually a tool. I should probably do a live stream just on the split body and the different scenarios where you could use it. So if we go in here now and we say uh, split this body and then we select again a splitting tool. Turn that sketch back on. Select that sketch. Now I just created an, another body. And now we could split all these up, kind of like cut them up as if you were doing it uh, with a saw. Right, so now it's almost like we have a uh, a bandsaw, and we kind of like can cut each component up into different uh, different bodies, and then of course now to um, make the appearance on, then we leave it up here at bodies components, and now I'm I'm going to apply that texture to the whole to the whole body that we that we now have, and I could also now go in here and do a move. And we could actually move this body, right? This kind of like its own kind of kind of plank. Um, so split face, split body can definitely be used for different things. Um, split face can be handy f actually for things like this, where you're looking around with playing with some some texture uh, things, uh, and you want to kind of like take a finished lid and uh, and 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 make it look like it was not not finished another option of course that i gotta show you is of course there is also the option out here to insert a decal we could also have done that so if i go back in to our appearances and just make uh, these all back to steel again we could so now we're back to the to the gray we could also go in here and say insert a decal, select uh, the face that we want that on, select an image. So I found this on the internet. What is kind of like the same things, like a cutting board. Um, of course, it's way too small. Oh, it only appeared on that one face. All right. Um, so this cutting board here. Let me just rotate it around. So this is just a picture, right? This is not uh, anything as fancy as the appearances, but it can give the kind of like give the same give the same kind of like vision, and it actually wraps around surfaces, but give you kind of like the same impressions as you could have done with with sketches and line and break the faces up and uh, and kind of create that appearance as the same way as we were putting uh, the block together. One of the things that I, I many times recommend uh, if you're fairly new to a CAD environment is to approach, um, you know, modeling the same way as if you had to make it. So create each different body 
just like Jimmy is using each different plank here. Um, but you could also think that, well, you know, if you are a little bit, want to play a little bit different environment when it comes to, to the CAD environment, model everything up the way that you want it, like a big, the big already glued together blocks and then break the, the faces down or turn them into bodies afterwards. Um, so one of the things split body is good for is exactly that, that you can model up the whole layout of you want, and then you can use either planes or you can use lines and, 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 and faces to cut that model up into individual bodies that you then maybe want to turn into individual components again, because you can, of course, always inside of Fusion, you can already grab a body and you can right click on it and you can now create a component from that body. So, uh, oh, I didn't switch over to Fusion. Inside of Fusion, you can always go into a body and you can right click on that body and you can turn it into, uh, into a component. So, I hope that this, uh, you know, was a good intro into a couple of new tools, um, the split face and the split uh, body in here. Kind of interesting uh, tools that is available to take a model and kind of like chop it up either for visual, where I will normally say split face uh, becomes handy, or if you literally want to go in and physically chop up the block, uh, then uh, the split body. All right, let's uh, keep the Monday live stream short here um, because I know everybody's busy. So I hope that this was kind of useful. Uh, maybe we can dive uh, further into to some of these want to talk, I think, about some rendering later in the week. Uh, let's go in and do a kind of like beginners to uh, to some rendering uh, and play around with some parts in that. So uh, these kind of techniques where you actually can split a, a surface or a face and apply stuff to it can, can be handy. So hope that was helpful. I'm going to do what I normally do. I'm going to end this live stream number 67. Um, and uh, if you're watching the video, we'd appreciate you doing that. If you haven't already, appreciate you subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, uh, whatever you think. And uh, then I'm going to jump into the live stream where we have 74 people and uh, say hi to everybody. So until tomorrow, hope you have an awesome, awesome day. Take care, guys.